Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to R Factor 2 for another video. And today I'm driving the just about pre-release uh, USF 2000 car, which is essentially a Formula Ford car. This is coming out tomorrow, the 23rd, I believe, for R Factor 2. I should probably read that up and make sure that's actually a fact before I say that, but hey ho. And I'm going to be doing a 10 lap race around Mills Metro Park, the Inner Loop C variant. And uh, talk about the car, how it is, etc. And uh, just introduce you guys to the car. I'm really enjoying it so far, so I want to share that all with you. Well, here we are then on the grid. Just looking at the centre there, here my Motec beep in the background. Just about to see lights from here. Four lights, five, into gear, and drop the clutch straight away. Try and get the wheel spinning at the back, because very long first gear in this thing. But where my clutch is currently set up, it's not very uh, long at all, so it's very hard to get a good standing start. Anyway, down to T1 down to first gear and just trying to find a lot of space at the start here these are open wheelers after all can't really whack these things into each other and expect to come out fine now for this sweeping right hander which is really fun at full speed during the race but our tyres aren't quite up to temperature yet so we've got to calm down a little bit through there still checking up a little bit everyone trying to find their space oh see rear tyres definitely not warm if I get it sideways there but bring it back do the camber on those rear tyres of the white car in front as we come through again to the sweeping left into quite a heavy braking zone now. Quite a few lines you can take into this corner as AI is demonstrating, but it all sort of comes together. Okay, we're okay through there. Just holding it in second gear right now, going down to first just to get that punch, get a cheeky position on the inside there. Trying to get into line. Curbs on the outside are a lot scarier than you think they are. They've got to bring the car off the ground. Now into the last part of the circuit. I think it tightens up a little bit here. Tight right. Trying to take as much speed through as possible. And then a tight left if we have a car on our inside now, but there he is, so and come in still under a little bit on the apex. Now right up behind you the uh slipstream of this uh this white car side by side. And I've done many laps around here, that's one lap of this circuit done so far. I've driven about sixty or so laps on my own, just driving this car round and round and round. Because it's really good, I'm I'm happy to say. I'm always a little bit um, scared when we get new content from any of the sims uh, because there you go, starting to get up to a better speed through there now uh, because sometimes it comes out and it's awful for example the 320T for a DRM I won't say anything about that other than go and drive it and you'll see what I mean um, but this, this this is this this feels very nice it's, um, going for that, that fast right hander at the start of the circuit oh, actually no, I'll describe it when we get there because it's easier for me to keep it in my mind but um there's a lot of communication through the wheel here, which is any communication we get at sim races, so it's sort of important, it's good. Back end is, you know, just have a life of its own, but um, it is controllable and you feel it coming, which is the important thing. These cars have a little bit of downforce, not a massive amount. A lot of it is me mechanical grip, and you do feel that through the corners, which is nice. So sort of, you feel that little bit of air come in, but you still have that slide you, you sort of associate with... Um, Formula cars, you know, the, the Formula Rookie, for example, in a... What's that in? I think it's in Race Room, I don't know. Formula 4 is what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ, let me get the words out. Go down to first gear. Now, sort of stuck behind this pink and white variant. So through here, I'm feeling the front tyres skip along the circuit as I start to understeer through the speed. You can sort of push it through there with the throttle, but going too, fr too fast through there, the throttle, you just kind of just scrape the front tyres along the circuit. And that leads to tyre wear quite quickly. We're only doing a 10 lap race, so that isn't going to be much of an issue for us. But it's still something we've got to keep an eye out for. I am still using the Formula Room because my ankle is still a little bit dead. So no heel and toe for me at the moment, but I can just about manage to do this. So that's good. And anyway, ooh, I have to really make sure this car is in. You have to really drive it into the corner to get the speed out. But you can see I'm sort of struggling a little bit in the faster corners compared to the AI, but. In the slow corners, I seem to have a bit of an advantage. They all come together again now. Good to me because our fighting means I can get involved using all the first gear there. Third, fourth. You won't quite hit fifth by the end of this straight. It is there to use if we want to use it. Oh, locking up a bit there. We got the inside. Oh, that was a bit tight. Car had to accommodate for me there, definitely. Getting a bit loose coming out of the corner. That's what I like in this car. There is that kick. How many small engine this? How many two litre? But um, you're in a car that weighs nothing! Oh, was AI had to go up the inside, I don't see him. I just about managed to keep the car in one piece, as you can see, damage is off. But I didn't see him in the mirror there. I would have given him more room or idea, I didn't expect him to be there. 
Oh, that, 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 that gave me a fright. <laughs> but just go show you, you can't, you can't mess with these AI. They will hound you into a mistake if they have to. And I'm now really trying to drag the string around the circuit as that car behind is really on my tail now. Mills Metro is a circuit that came from RF1. So if you're interested, go and get it. It's on the R Factor 2 page, I imagine. Or in the workshop somewhere. Not sure how anyone does mods anymore. Too old for this. Downshifting there when I don't need to. That's that inside curb. Oh, it makes the car loose at the rear. Right now, keep an eye on the mirror. Okay, I'm not going to try it this time. I carried a bit more speed through there. A bit more ragged. I really feel it in the force feedback. As soon as you lose grip, just come off the throttle a little bit, back it down, and the tyres bite again. And you've got that grip back. Through here it's quite difficult though, because you have to use downforce in a way, and which sort of disappears as you come into the corner. Oh, I uh, could try around the outside. It's going to make it stick. Yes, he is. Crazy AI, man. 17 car now. Just give me a little nudge through there. Just give me a little hurry up. Looking at the outside line, AI covers it nicely as one goes for the inside. So close this racing. Once upon a time when I never thought this sort of racing would be possible with AI, but it just is and it's fantastic. Again, just in that slipstream. Pulling out. i to go for fifth. Weight braking. Down to first, out the corner again. First is very long in this, nearly, nearly 100 mile an hour. That's not that sorry, nearly 100 k's, I should say. Thinking of the F1 car I used to drive, <laughs> but um, very long nevertheless. So standing starts aren't great, but it's pretty much perfect for racing. And there is first again. I think you're probably wondering how I'm keeping track of what gear I'm in. I'm just used to it now. I have having driven the circuit a while. I know I'm in second now. Got first there, I need it. Again, that 17 car getting that's not 17 car, it's the 18 car now. Sorry, I passed the 17. He's getting a little bit ooh, a little bit out of shape on the curb myself there. But he's getting packed into me, which is good for me. I only a 10 lap race this, so we're already quite deep into it. Oh no, it's like running over the curb that uh, car bottoming out. 17 passes back. Another car looking up the inside. I'm going to go defensive. Oh dear. See? Curves around here, they will bite you. And that's really cool. It's really cool to have that. I've not really had that before in any car actually. Well, maybe I've just not had the right circumstances, but where I'm, where I'm, you know, the bottom of the car is just beach on the curb and you're just there floundering waiting for some sort of grip and you see there I lost so much time there I was right up behind the car in front of the one in front of me now it's English there so I lost about you no know, two seconds there using the first there even though oh even though I'm able to slide the car the diff does feel quite open Doesn't feel like your sort of standard drift, drift, drift diff. Oh my god, again on the curb. See, doing it again now, just trying to struggle with them. I'm just losing places doing that. Gain all the time from the midsection and lose it on that curb at the end there. And they go for a big move up the inside. Oh, there's contact, unsurprisingly. Still there! <laughs> this AI is really raising me. Come on, make it on the outside. Just about made that stick. He's still there. No, not anymore. He's not. Oh, I'm getting. <laughs> I'm being hounded. This is fantastic, guys. Big blip into first as the car goes wide. It's a curb on the way back in. I hit him on the way back in. Things are getting a little bit aggressive here in the USF 2000s. Elbows out in the lower formulas. 
Wouldn't be a good lower Formula race with a big crash in it. And just it. Enemy. Decent enough of a pull out of the last corner, though we shouldn't have any sort of attempt in opposition to T1. Not quite sure what lap we're on. I always like not knowing what lap I'm on. It's weird not having my spotter on, I usually have them on, but I turned them off for this because it was so loud. First gear, and again, big old slide up the corner. See if we can gain some more time through here. Rubber, nice and heavy through here now. And down the first, just the understeer having to control it. You let yourself go wide there, you run the risk of beating yourself there on the outside kerb. So much communication through the wheel in this car. I know exactly what it's doing. All times contact ahead of me! As I can go down to first gear. No adjustable gearing in this car, so having to deal with it in between corners. Again, the AI side by side. Can we follow the green car through around the outside? Oh no, we've got hooked into the kerb. This car gives you the confidence to do things, but it doesn't mean you can do them. Dirty tyres. There you go. All that work undone. But this is what I'm talking about. This car gives you absolute confidence in your own driving. The mistakes are mine. They're being a little bit too over the top, you know. One lap to go. Can we grab a couple of places back before the checkered flag? We'll drive our heart out. We we're only down in 15th or so, so it's not really an achievement, but... So we've got to try it. Oh, a little bit too shallow there on that entry. Just want to give the car behind me a good run. Good overtaking spot there. Here, if your car is in the right place. Come on. Putting trust into the grip. My little USF car. They can gear through here. Oh, that curb a little bit nicer, but still not good for me. Oh, sideways. Go behind is really harrying me. I haven't got enough to catch the guys in front. And that is it. Race over. Ten laps of Mills Metro Loop C in the soon to be released USF 2000 car. What a riot. What fun that was. Even my own driving wasn't particularly great. You get the idea that this car is indeed very special. And there's, there is definitely time just to be taken from this, you know? I'm, I'm so enthusiastic about the way this thing drives. It just makes... Uh, I always say a, like a good sim car can help you be consistent. And um, there was a point where I was testing earlier and I did three laps that were within about I think five thousandth of each other in a row in this car. And that's just ridiculous over a lap of you know a minute and a bit. But anyway guys, I'm rambling now. Thank you very much for watching. This thing will be out tomorrow, so make sure you go give it a go. It's definitely worth your time and for a free update, why not? And uh, stick around for more awesome videos. We'll be covering the Assetto Corsa pack, the uh, new Porsche pack fairly soon. And yeah, have an awesome day guys and I'll catch you all next time.